Hello hockey fans, I'm Chris Terrell. I'm here for RollerPros.com to bring you my Jager Bombs Fantasy Shots of the Night for NHL on Friday, November 30th. Um, before we get going, I just want to let you know that if you're not a Roller Pros member, you can definitely head over to RollerPros.com, check out all the articles that we have here for free. But if you want to get into the community Slack chat um, where we provide skeleton lineups, one-on-one -on -one coaching, that sort of thing, you can definitely head over uh, to the sign up button here. Get a two free week trial we got going on right now um, to come check everything out. And then you can either sign up for a daily, monthly, or yearly membership going forward. And like I said, that's going to get you access to our premium content, our skeleton lineups, one on one coaching, cheat sheets, videos, all that kind of stuff. So be sure to jump in on that. So without further ado, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm pulling all the data that I'm going to be talking about with these players off of my cheat sheet so these players obviously you're not going to be able to get them all into your lineup so if you want to check out value plays definitely grab a copy of my cheat sheet where I go through each individual position and I give you green are going to be my core plays blue is going to be GVP yellow are going to be the value plays along with some uh, regular stats and some advanced stats stats on the team level injury updates um, notes on which site those players are better for, all that kind of stuff. And like I said, at each position, and then you can go ahead and you can look at uh, team stats, home road splits, player stats, goalie stats, and then you can jump into the advanced stats down here as well. Player advanced stats, goalie advanced stats, and team advanced stats. So tonight we've got a five-game slate. We've got two teams, Buffalo and the Kings, who are playing on back-to-back -back nights as well as a third game in four nights. So targeting against them may be a way to go. Um, that Buffalo-Florida game has a six over under. So does the St. Louis-Colorado game. And then the other three games are sitting at five and a half. So we can look at that there. And then this is just a nice, this matchup page is a nice way to go when you want to compare maybe home offense versus road defense, that sort of stats. But let's get into the core plays. So at center, we've got Jack Eichel, 7,300 on DraftKings, 7,400 on FanDuel. Been red hot with points in seven of his last eight games, including four multi-point efforts. The goals have been limited with five, but he's got an elite 12.2 shots per 60, 18.6 individual course per 60, so I'm expecting that positive regression in that area. He's been an excellent setup guy, but I expect those goals to start coming back up as well. Um, he's got a plus matchup against the Panthers. They've given up three or more goals in eight straight games, 4.8 goals per game in that span. So their defense has been pretty bad lately. And if you're building around Eichel, Jeff Skinner and Sam Reinhardt skate with him, um, you know, to make it work salary-wise, probably pairing him with Sam Reinhardt um, a little bit cheaper uh, on the top line and then throw Jeff Skinner in there as well as a three-man stack for GPPs. Alexander Barkov's the next player, the same price as Eichel on FanDuel, but a big discount um, when you're looking at DraftKings. He's had 10 points, 3 in the power play in his last 10 games while averaging over 3 shots per game. He's getting a ton of opportunity at 22, over 22 minutes of ice time on the top line and power play unit. The matchup's a bit tougher against Buffalo, but like they said, they're playing on back-to-back -back in the third game in four nights, so they're a good one to uh, target. And then jumping over to the wingers, a couple players that stand out. Uh, Alex Ovechkin, of course, on a small slate. It's going to be tough to, to fade him. He's got goals in three straight, 18 on the season. And he's got a crazy 24.03 individual Corsi per 60. He's generating a ton of shots. And as you can see, 11.54 scoring chances per 60. He's creating a ton of scoring chances as well. And the matchup stands out. As the Devils have been just absolutely horrible on the road this year. They've lost 9 of their last 11 road games while allowing 4.1 goals per game. Now rank 30th in road defense. Ovi also gets a boost. Um, his regular centerman of getting Kuznetsov is expected back in the lineup tonight. So you can pair those two guys together. I don't mind getting Tom Wilson in there either. Um, he's been he's been really good at uh, creating space for those guys. And then uh, Nicholas Backstrom is also an option at center to pair with Ovi. Um, he's been skating with him on the top line with Kuznetsov back. He'll probably drop back down to the second line, but he will be there on the top power play unit with Ovechkin and Kuznetsov together. Next up, we've got uh, Mike Hoffman. His price is back down that mid-6K range where I really like to see him. Um, he's, he's been red hot when it comes to upside. with 11 points in his last 10 games. And he started the season out on the third line, but uh, since pretty much the start of November, he's been skating on the top line with Barkov, and that's where that upside has really come from. You compare those two players together in cash game, it's probably one of my best, one of my favorite cash um, two-man stacks tonight, Hoffman and Barkov. 
elite shot volume, 12.8 shots per 60, 18.6 individual coursey per 60. And for those of you um, or maybe new to my videos, new to the advanced stats side of things, the individual coursey, um, pretty much what that coursey means is just shot attempts. So not it, it includes shots on goal, shots that miss the goal, and then shots that are blocked. So it's just it's kind of like a tally of all shots that are fired um, from an individual player, and then it's on a per 60 minute basis just to bring all the players uh, kind of together on, on one uh, one level. So then he's been a big time contributor on the power play as well. He's got 10 points in the power play, and that is top 10 in the league. The leader has 14 right now, so he's right up there with the leaders when it comes to power play points. Looking at defense, I've got Justin Falk at uh, 4,500 on both sides tonight. Um, that's a great value for him. Um, the upside has been a little bit limited this season. He does skate in the top pairing, top power play unit, um, but he is he does have a very high floor. Um, with the shot volume, 8.4 shots per 60 and 17.9 individual coursey per 60. And the upside is definitely there as he ranks sixth among all D-men on this slate, generating 3.74 scoring chances per 60. So that's definitely there. Probably going to see some upside in here in the near future. It's a tougher matchup against the Ducks' top 10 defense, but with his price in that mid-range and his high floor, he's just an excellent target in cash games. And then finally, we've got Michael Kempney, um, another value D-man on the radar tonight, high floor for cash games. He is third among all D-man on the slate with 7.1 blocks per 60. That's where that high floor comes from. He's also generated over his last 10 games a nice balance of shots, 18, and blocks, 23. And then the upside... Again, like I said, is is fairly limited with him because he doesn't skate on the he doesn't get any power play time. Um, he just has six points on the season, but four of them have come in the last five games, and he's going to continue to get opportunities because he does skate on Washington's top pairing with John Carlson, which most of the time is out there with Alex Ovechkin in that top line with Evgeny Kuznetsov. So that covers my core plays. I'm going to try and do this uh, weekly when I don't have uh, every weekday when I'm not doing the articles. So I'm going to see these videos uh, most likely on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I'm going to cover two players uh, at each position. And like I said, if you're looking, um, obviously you're not going to be able to fit all these top players in your lineups. So like I said, make sure to grab a copy of my cheat sheet where I highlight all my top core plays, GPP plays, and value plays. And then if you have any questions, make sure to hit me up on Twitter at Jaeger underscore bombs nine. Hit us up on at RotoPros on Twitter. If you're a member, jump into the RotoPro Slack chat or leave a comment below in these videos and I'll make sure to get back to them and check them throughout the day. Um, make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit your notifications. We've got a ton of videos coming out on all sports, whether it be NHL, um, soccer, NFL, um, Sunday morning we do an NFL live show. I'm going to start doing a, a regular show in the midweek, kind of like this one, looking at some of my core plays at each position for NFL as well. Um, we have one coming out later today. With that, let's go get some green screens, and good luck tonight, everyone.